Okay, hey people, it's me, Right1196, and we're back with another episode of Let's Play Minecraft. And in this episode, we're going to check out what I've been doing over here at the castle. Now, this is the basic plan of the castle. As you can tell, um, this right here, I, you know, sometimes you just gotta, you gotta, you gotta have different plans and stuff like that. Especially for castles, sometimes you might not like what you, uh, you have so anyway I'm just gonna gonna make this right because for some reason it was off sorry if you hear any background noise sorry but yeah this is the basic plan of the castle the flooring looks nice this right here I just don't know what the the main structure of the castle is gonna be made out of but you know you never know you never know but in this episode we are going to come over here at the farm we're gonna go work on the farm now I was thinking of us having maybe uh, maybe like an automatic sugarcane farm I keep on doing that I seem to like to jump for some reason so let's check out let's check out our little watermelon farm we have going here. Bang, bang. Plenty of watermelons. It's perfect. That's just the way how I wanted this little contraption to work. And we're just gonna work on the farm for this episode. Like I said, get out of here, Mr. Torch. So recently. I've been wanting to get much, I want to get deeper into the redstone stuff. Like I want to find out new and cool things that I can do with redstone. So we might look into some stuff. I will eventually be making a mob spawner, or not a mob spawner, but a mob generator. Let's just say that. This is going to be... It, it, Basically, this mob generator is on the very, it's on the highest highest limit on the map, and mobs will just generate up in there, and they'll all drop down, and they'll I'll just get all their drops and kill them and get their XP. <laughs> That's pretty much it. And I'm not really so certain how I'm supposed to say it, but other than that, yeah. Other than that, awesome. I've been working I've been working a ton on the the castle over there just trying to plan out some stuff that castle is very important I think I think all like I think all a castle is just very important in Minecraft in general to me I don't know why but I just think it is there <laughs> I said it so that's like I said, that's in my opinion, so you guys may have your own opinions, that's just mine. I like to have a bunch of cool looking buildings in my Minecraft world. I don't like to always keep it so plain and stale, let's just say that. So, if you guys have any ideas on how I should build a castle, or if I, whenever I build another one, uh, if you guys have any ideas, please let me know. I'd love to hear some cool ideas and some inventive ways on how to, you know, construct the castle. I know my friend Nick always makes Jeb doors, so I might, I might put a Jeb door in on there. And Katie is crying in the background. Very, very irritating. She needs to calm, calm it down. She really needs to calm it down. If she does, I just might have to mute my mic. If she doesn't, I might just have to mute my mic. But I, I'm i going to chop down some wood, and I'll be back with you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, so we're back. I'm just working a little bit on the farm right now. Nothing more, nothing less. Now, this this place up here I, I'm I'm thinking about just 
letting a bunch of these a bunch of these right here be just mainly for wheat and a couple of these only meant for you know melons and stuff like that so these upper levels just might mainly be for wheat that's about it so let's talk about the future now one thing I've actually never done in Minecraft that was legit legitimately let's say that I never defeated a wither boss in Minecraft legitimately like I always had to spawn it and then change my game mode to survival so that seems like something that would be fun defeating the wither and getting a beacon never done that before getting a beacon I've never done that before also so I've heard many things about beacons you can use them for speed mining I know Etho uses one for speed mining and I really want to test it out I really want to see I, I want to I want to test out how that works I've seen them do it and if you've ever been to the nether which I'm just using this as an example if you've ever been to the nether and if you used a fortune not a fortune pick but an efficiency pick let's say like an efficiency three diamond pick on the nether rack it slices through it like butter well what he done or what he did I suppose I mean I don't really know what he did was he set up a beacon all the way down near bedrock and he used the special effects from the beacon to give him like speed mining so he was doing the same thing he was slicing through stone and other stuff like butter and it caught my eye it caught my attention very quickly so I want to do something like that that seems fun I want to get I want to get the castle done that's for sure I want to get that done and sorry I'm I'm thinking right now because I'm trying to trying to play this game and thinking at the same time is quite difficult you should try it sometime <laughs> just try to do commentary and play this game it's very difficult so unless if you have it scripted which I don't really have anything that I do I don't think any I don't think anything that I do is scripted on this but I say that if I said that right so oh, we're missing something we're missing something vital okay I'm gonna get it right here I'll look straight up and do that for all sides I wonder what happened right there kind of laggy not not too laggy but it's sort of kind of laggy I say that sort of kind of because it's not really laggy it's just sort of kind of laggy <laughs> I can deal with it I'm perfectly fine okay let's put some torches on this bad boy and let's finish up that other little side over there. We forgot to finish it up. Now I don't know if my mic is uh, doing a weird noise or not. Sometimes it'll do that. Um, I don't really know why it does that. You know, I've been thinking for a while. Uh, I was just, I was just at my friend's house and. He has a really, really nice pair of Turtle Beach head. He has a Turtle Beach headset. So, I was playing Minecraft on the PS3, which just now came out, and testing it out on with the Turtle Beaches, and it just sounds amazing. So, I kind of want to get some Turtle Beaches just to try it out. Seems like a bunch of fun. So, okay. I can't really. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. Okay, we got everything. I'll put the sides on like the little cool effect on some other time. But here's how the sky sky farm is working out so far. It's not really in the sky yet, but it's looking it's looking very 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 nice. Um, guys, we are very in the end of this video, so I'm just gonna chop down this piece of wood, and um, I hope you guys have a good day. Peace out, guys.